Welcome back to our class tutorial. In this video, we'll be speaking about template inheritance. It's a way we have to construct templates by inheriting from other base templates. Let me show you an example using the python.org website. In this case, I'm showing you the python.org website. If you look closely through different types of sections of this site, there will be things that are repeated. So for example, the menu in each one of these pages look really similar. There will also be other similarities that we cannot see, but for example, the footer will be similar in each one of them. And also there will be the same static files. And again, a few other things that are shared among different pages. So think about how would you construct the template for this particular page? You wouldn't be repeating the same code over and over and over. What we want to do is create a more general template that basically holds the common things. And then we want to create special uh, in, in the, independent and um, specialized templates that basically inherit from the, that base template that we had created uh, before. Let me show that in our code. In this case, we're using example 15. So please go ahead and, and comment it and just reload the page. And you will see that it basically looks the same. The magic here is again done by the templates. The template pull from the 15th example is under the inheritance folder and it's called child template form. In this case, what we're doing is we're following the logic of our previous form. If I pull it over, you can see here, what I have is that I'm thinking if I create multiple forms in my web application, what, do I want to repeat the bootstrap code over and over again? Should I include the same uh, link HTML attribute or tag to include the bootstrap file over and over and over and over? Probably not. What I want to do is create a base HTML template that includes my static files and then, for example, create this particular form but, but extending from that base template. And that's exactly what we have in this example. So right here, I have the same template that I used to have before, the same form. But in this case, I'm inheriting from the base.html template. In this case, the base.html just defines the base structure and then it creates a block, all right? So any template can define a block that its children are able to specialize or to re-implement, right? So in this case, the base template just defines the basic HTML structure, the title of the page, a static file to include, and then it sets a particular block so the children can provide the content that they want to provide. So in this case, the this particular child, this template that I'm rendering right here, will use the form that we had before to replace that particular content. Usually a big application will be con will consist on many, many, many different types of templates and there will be multiple parents and multiple inheritance. Um, but in this case, we are just showing you the, the basic ways of defining different blocks and also for you to understand it. Pay attention whenever you're browsing through example applications to see how the templates are created. It's really, really important to have a, a clear and clean structure. <music> Thank you.